Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver and welcome to another episode of our weekly blog. This week we're going to be talking about how to fasten a clip to a hose. So for this, obviously we need a clip, we need a hose, we're going to need a zip tie and an old o-ring. Now this is the kind of size that you would either find on the top of your dust cover for your din fitting or on the end of your din fitting. Perfect thickness and size in order to do what we need it to do but should we need to remove that quickly a quick twist of the, of the snap bolt will pull it off so we start off we thread it through and you can see it just about reaches all the way around and in doing that then we'll thread the zip tie up and over that to hold it in place you see that Put it somewhat in position and thread the zip tie together. So you can see I've zipped that up now and it's put it in the right place. So we're going to keep it on the crimp of the hose, pulling that up nice and tight. Now I'm fortunate enough to have this zip tie tool. So you, you link it up like that, pull it, pulls it to desired pressure, uh, sort of tension, cuts that off nice and neat. So you can now see the zip tie and the o-ring are holding on to that clip. It can move around the hose and first stage. Uh, the hose and second stage can move freely, as they should do. But the o-ring is nice and secure. There's a little bit of give and play in there, so that's just going to dangle freely on the end of the hose. But should I need to remove that quickly, I can just twist the bottom of the snap bolt, and it'll snap the o-ring straight off. So if it's a mad rush or a flap or a panic or whatever, we need to get that off. Really quick and easy. Hope that works for you. Should you want to go down the method of using long hoses, or even if you want to put it on your SPG, you know, an easy way of putting that on, but a safe way to be able to remove it should you need to. A couple of zip ties or just one is probably not the safest or easiest method of putting that on. Yes, there's a little bit of expense to get some O-rings, but far be it, a little bit of expense and a safe way of diving than trying to save a bit of money and, and creating a dangerous and hazardous environment for you to dive in. So thanks for watching again. If you've liked what we watched, there's a subscribe button here and a like button at the bottom. And as per usual, we've got a video from the fans and then at the top, we've got last week's video. I'll see you on Insta.